Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play of Rome Total War Remastered. I am playing as the House of Julii on very hard difficulty. Just a quick recap from the previous episode. We have taken these settlements here, I think that was in the episode before though. And we're pushing to take the final settlement from the Gauls, at least what I believe to be their final settlement. We're now allied with Britannia. Um, the Scipii have taken all of Africa and they're pushing into Pontus. We really, we'd be really interested to see what happens there because the Pontus are huge. They have, they are really strong. The Brutii are dealing with the Greeks when they should be dealing with the Dacians, but at the end of the day, the Dacians, well, they're, they're planning to attack me again. I know it. They've been groveling with their diplomats, which means that they're preparing to attack, but the war with the Gauls is nearly at an end and Carthage is no more as well. So... Yeah, we're just continuing on from the end of the last turn, so I'm just going to hit the end turn there and let the other factions make their moves before we start with today's episode. So hopefully the Scipii again making some more progress. I wasn't really that concerned about what they were doing anymore, but if Pontus start to push back on them, that could be an issue for me later. On the other hand... It could be a good thing because I can't attack Scipii, but I would very much like control of North Africa. If Pontus do push them back, I sound like a terrible ally here, but if they do push them back, it's mine for the taking. Just as the Gauls have taken a settlement from Germany, I can now take that from the Gauls. So it's worked out pretty well for me, this whole um, the Gauls invading Germany thing. That being said, I really would like expansion to stop now so I can just start to uh, upgrade technology, military infrastructure, and just prepare for the pending civil war. It's still quite a long way off, don't get me wrong, but uh, here we go. Start of a new day, and I think this might be the last Gallic settlement. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it is. So we're just going to go here. And probably just gonna fight these guys off. Well, and that gives me room to support this army here. So we're just gonna let's see what we can put in here. Maybe some early legionary cohorts. And Pterian, that is very nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. And we have some more units to support as well. So I think you guys are about to see the fall of Gaul. At least I hope. Yeah, yeah, easy. Victory! And hopefully... This land is Roman. Okay, the Gauls survive still. How much do they actually have? This is crazy. Uh, but yeah, another settlement under my control. I'm happy. But it means that the Gauls are destroying Germany now. So... Um, yeah, like I say, it kind of works out in your favour. But... I mean, it's crazy though, isn't it? It really is, to be fair. So let's have a look at the construction tower. Oh, I have a Senate mission. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, the, the Senate missions don't really matter at this point. Too concerned about that. Construction report. Let's quickly go through and see what needs building today. And uh, we've got a bit of growth going here again. So I'm going to build some sewers. Uh, slowly, slowly building up there. I uh, just want to keep everybody happy and healthy for um, uh, Okay, so growth is stagnated there, I didn't realise, so we're going to have to deal with that. I uh, really should be focusing on, you know, stagnation and stuff. Uh, over here, what do we have? Not really much else I can build there at the minute. I can, however, get rid of the barbarian blacksmith and trader and build Roman ones. Well the trader i guess but anything like that i'm just going to be getting rid of the barbarian one and replacing it with a roman one and the settlement Ooh, the growth's decent so we're just gonna leave that as it is build highways big fan of highways big fan of fast movement over here growth's okay but um there is the barbarian stuff so we're gonna replace that in fact no we're not we're gonna build highways here we are. I'd like a standardization of highways across the empire if possible. That would be really handy. So I think the time now has come to get rid of this. I'm going to replace that with a barracks or basic construction there. 
Yeah, just keep the people happy. That's the, that's the main thing you need to do here. This settlement isn't building something. So I'm not really sure why that is. But I think I'm just going to quickly now just scan through every settlement. Uh, just make sure everybody's building stuff. See, the settlements here that aren't. But this one I literally just took over. So I'm not worried about that. Let's get rid of this shrine. As you guys know by now, I always like to start by building a Temple of Jupiter. It only takes one turn, it's quick and easy to do, and it looks like everything is building somewhere, so that's cool. A lot of money coming into the Empire now, a lot of money. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Hmm. I could probably just sweep around, take these armies. Oh, I could push further into this territory. I think I'm going to do that. And we can't until next turn. Okay, that's fine, you know, that is completely understandable. I really hope that I can, yeah, I can retrain a few units here. That's really nice. Uh, we'll retrain him. I don't want to retrain everything, though, because I want to hopefully build some units, like a ballista. That'll just help me siege straight away. Oh, that's an ally. Oh, no, it might not be, though. It might not be. We don't know yet. We can't see. So yeah, pretty successful turn there. I think we'll, uh, we'll probably end... Oh, popularity falls with the Senate. Message or open. Yeah, standing, yeah. Population, uh, my, my standing's going to fall. You know, basically because um, I'm growing. Pontus are amazing. Pontus are really good. So me and the Brute eye at uh, Skip eye sorry gonna put on here a territorial ranking all factions i want to just see what me and skippy i like so skippy i militarily the better production wise i'm better territorially i'm better financially they're better population wise i'm better and overall ranking i'm just slightly better but did you notice their military ranking is so much superior to my own let's chuck pontus in there and pontus i just reckon everything that production Territory finance. Yeah, the, the Pontus um, finances aren't great. They're just above mine, though. And the overall ranking is amazing. Pontus are the best faction in the game. At the minute, there's no doubt about that. Followed closely by... I would say, to be honest, the Skippy I are probably better than me at the minute. Just, even though it says overall ranking, they're better, I'm better. I would say, realistically, the Skippy I are a little bit better. So, that's pretty much all we can do for this turn. Let's uh, let the other factions take their move. I'm uh, just going to quickly check out Rooty Eye. Again, not up to much. We just failed to set mission. Help. So they want me to attack Dakia, Dacia, whatever you want to call them. I'm not going to do that. Until next time. Um, I've, I've already explained uh, why I'm not going to, but if you guys don't know, there's a reputation in this game. And if you stab people in the back, other factions won't trust you. I did sign the peace treaty with uh, Dacia. And as far as they're aware that, aware, that was in good faith. So I just want to keep people trusting me. And here come Pontus. Greetings. They want trade rights. I am actually... I think I'm actually going to take that. Now, interesting side note. Our a thing. few... A few uh, episodes ago, I mentioned how I was recording and my mic cut out, so I had to refilm. Well, in the original, Parthia got destroyed completely. So things are actually going differently. They've taken a different turn to what happened originally. Which, uh, I mean, is neither here nor there. But, uh, you know, it, it would, would have been interesting to see what, what things would be like without... Um, Parthia. What would be even more interesting now to see what Parthia do. And it looks like Germania might be plotting something here. I really hope they're not, though. But we'll just have to wait and find out. I might have to start building up an army again. See what Adesha doing. Not a lot. I've been allies with Germany for an extremely long time now, so I'm hoping that'll mean something to them. 
because they don't really have much else places to go. I could also hold off on destroying Gaul and hope that Gaul just attack Germany and then I can take the settlements back from the Gauls. That's a plan. Okay, so just cut out the end of the, uh, the turn sequence there. Um, not really much else going on. Okay, so let's see what we can do for this turn then. So my plan was obviously pack the settlement next. I think this, even though I can't see it, I'm pretty sure it is Gallic. Um, but now I'm thinking, can I just let them attack Germany and then I attack them? Is that a feasible option here? Is that something I could think about doing? Um, I mean, it's worth a shot. The Germans might turn on me though, that's the thing. Uh, and wow, they have a huge army here. Huge. They, uh, yeah, the other world defended. They don't have anything. Oh, okay, their units don't look like they're that upgraded, which means I might have an easier time in victory. So I can now. Uh, these armies here, I think I'm going to have to start a mop up operation and attack that maybe within the next few turns. So everything here. We're just going to start mopping up. Uh, as much as we can. Uh, this might be their last city, you know. Really might. I can attack their army, but I'm going to attack them instead. Okay, here we go. And they're, they're moving away, which is good. Now, they have some decent units, but I'm feeling confident that we can actually take these guys. So, for... for now i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing we have so much money now it's crazy i have a diplomat in here somewhere here he is i'm gonna go take him over to britain get him opening negotiations uh let's have a quick look at the old construction tab there and there's probably a lot that needs building today so let's just go through this quickly uh what do we do probably land clearance or something Okay, we already have that. Shipwright, that could be good. And yeah, I, I was right actually, there is a lot that needs building here, right across the empire. And uh, roads, I do like roads, actually. Uh, yeah, actually roads, yeah. No sewers, yeah, we'll start with sewers. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, uh, what can we build? We'll get rid of the, um, we'll get rid of the barbarian market and start to build our own trader. Active construction report and the rest just looks like things that have been repaired and stuff so that's okay I'm happy with that um but yeah I think we're gonna try and reach some negotiation with um the Britons I'm gonna try and bribe these Be guys quick. again our patience is limited you insult us and again they're not having it that's fine so if the Gauls don't have a lot of upgraded stuff this fight is going to go a lot better. And if they do, well... Oh, I don't have a general here. I thought I did. I guess not. Do we have any settlements that have more than one general? No. Nope. Like we're kind of spread out on generals again, but that's okay. Uh, some settlements don't even have generals, which is a shame. Just going to drop the taxes to very low. Uh, and yeah, just keep doing what we're doing. I'm happy with the way things are going. So, we'll end the turn there. And uh, maybe even the episode. Okay, so we'll quickly go to the next turn. I would like to try and finish off Gaul, actually. I've thought about it. If I can, I'll finish them off today. And if I can't, it's no big deal. If I can finish them off now, that'd be cool. But if they're pushing into Germany, that would actually be even better. Have to see what happens. Uh, Parthia, okay. Dear friend. Okay, they want. Okay, so at the minute they're actually allied with Pontus, which is a conflict of interest because my allies are enemies of Pontus. I'm not really sure what would happen in that particular situation. They want an alliance, uh, but there 
enemies. Oh wow, they've got a boundless treasury, very nice. Um they're enemies with these guys. Which could put me odds with them. I think I'm gonna counter off uh, I don't want an alliance with his um by that. Dear friend. Uh, unfortunately Until I don't want to ally with them. So that's a shame. Oh, the Gauls are coming to me. Oh, let's see. What Let us say. end the bloodshed. Ah, interesting. They're offering to become a protectorate if I give them like five different regions. That's gonna be a solid no from me. Until um, next time. Absolutely not. Because if I just give them back all the power, what's the point in them being a protectorate? You know. Germany are thinking about attacking me now. I've certain of it Dacia I don't think Dacia was strong enough to so I'm not really worried that much about them Rutia is just kind of standing there not really doing much Dacia's ended up in Greece for some reason with one unit card it looks like and I'm pretty sure I failed a senate mission a while ago but I'm not really concerned about that and Parthi has been destroyed so they allied with me they try ally with me and then got destroyed which is pretty funny actually so um this could be all or nothing with the goals now i'm not sure i think um i think we might leave uh this until next time guys a lot's gone on um we've got a new turn so i think we'll probably start afresh with a new turn next time i just want to thank you all very much for watching today guys Please uh, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave in the comments if you do have any. And I hope to see you guys on the next episode of Rum Talk War Remastered. Take care.